Yeah, so you remember this guy, Mr. Wobbly. So I'm back to replace him. Um, so it, since it has, it, I think it's called a irrigation style um, water pump on it for irrigation engines that run water pumps. <laughs> water pump on a water pump. Yeah, there, there's some. That's pretty funny. Um, anyway. So this is what they consider, or some people call, a nine bolt water pump on uh, these motors, um, and pretty much they're pretty much like hen's teeth to find. You can't find them new anywhere. You have to find them reman. Um, but we did find uh, what was it Powertech Engines in Fresno, California, makes an adapter kit that uh, makes it so that you replace the front cover of the engine. And makes it so that you could run um, a standard style uh, water pump. And this pig is going to come off like right now. Well, the this conversion kit uh, went in pretty good. Ah, shit. Forgot to record it. You know what? Past self will take care of this one. He's done me a few favors. I think he'll uh, do this one for me too. So, uh, go back to this morning. Go travel back in time. See you in a bit. All right, here's the two uh, water pumps. Um, this is obviously is the more common style. That's the what a lot of people call the nine bolt or the agricultural style. Um, so there's the casting number. The last it's F one J. F or yeah F eighty five oh five the casting and pretty much they're exactly the same. The only thing is is that that one doesn't have this pocket right here. So anyways and there's the front cover. I'm gonna pull that off next. Gotta pull off the harmonic balancer. I'm probably gonna have to pull the radiator to get at it. So, digging into more. All right, well, here's uh, the covers. Got them off. Um, one thing to notice is that this one doesn't have a, the spot for the pointer drilled and tapped out. So, I'm probably going to see if I can remove that one. If I can't, I'm just going to have to abandon it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of comical how pretty much everything is exactly the same except these two holes and this spot right here. And, um, yeah, it's kind of odd. Anywho, so uh, there she bees. Uh, over here, see the timing chain. It's not that bad, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run with it. Obviously, I'm gonna be changing the oil after I get done with this to get any goop out of it. Um, yeah. Also, if I tell you, if you do try to use that pump on one of these on this type of engine, you. It won't even hold coolant. I promise you that. So anyway, there you be. You guys have a great day. Yeah, you know that feeling you get when you install the harmonic balancer backwards? Yeah, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? Ugh. Ugh. Carefuling. I'm gonna pull this pig apart and uh, flip it around and get this on right. So, but anyway, pause the note. Got the water pump on. Everything looks uh, pretty good. So uh, we're gonna keep on blowing forward. Hey, Starkist, can you make one of these in like you know man size or manly woman size or someone that eats you know 3,000 calories a day size? And uh, the mint that you include in it, you know, that's a nice touch, but can you make it so it doesn't taste like a Hall's mint mixed with a freaking pine salt? It'd be great appreciated.
Anyway, back to the show. All right, well, uh, back to present time. Looks like, uh, looks like past self uh, did myself a pretty good, pretty good uh, favor here. Got it in pretty good. Um, pretty much, it was like changing the um, timing cover, and that was it. There was no, you know, modification cut here, or whatever. It's just change the timing cover, and uh, that was it. Pretty freaking simple. I mean, even a caveman could do it. Well, then again, uh, I work with a caveman. He couldn't do this, so uh, scratch that from the list. Anyways, um, hope you found this little should be all pretty good. Oh, and uh, what would a video be like if I didn't start it for you? So hold on a sec. Uh, let me put down the light globe. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. As one of my new favorite Canadian Canadians would say, "Fucking mint." But uh, anyway, uh, one thing I did check this out. This radio is probably just got to record probably a year. Well, not a year. What am I thinking? Probably about four years ago. Look at that core. Sorry, turn the crack gab. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I gotta clean this pig back up, roll up a portable generator outside, and uh, get gone. Um, gotta drive freaking, I think it was 250 miles or something like that back home, towing a freaking 100 kW portable. So, fun. Alright, you guys have a great day. So, just left the site. Got the 100 kW behind me. Gonna probably drop it off tomorrow. Yep, got a couple hundred miles left to do, and then uh, before I go to sleep, sleep tonight, and then wake up again at 5 o'clock and basically rinse and repeat. So uh, I'm not paying attention to the camera, by the way. I'm actually uh, concentrating on driving. So anyway, I'm going to focus on driving again. You guys have a great night.